we would not call 80 degrees cool, but based on the weather we've been having, it feels almost fall-like, especially this morning, Rowan. It was Rowan. awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see, last night we hit temperatures in the mid-50s in the Treasure Valley. This afternoon, when I came into work at mm -hmm. 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature reading was still 69 degrees. Wow. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. So really just kind of exciting. That was the cloud cover. That was that little band of showers. It was a weak front that went through the area, folks. Hope you enjoy it because it's not going to last very long. I do anticipate uh, seeing some changes. Now we're seeing a little bit more of the valley in the background. We still have some moderate levels of pollution here in the Treasure Valley, but look at those temperature readings right now. 78 degrees with winds on the calm side. It's been just absolutely delightful today. And this afternoon, we're probably going to hit about 79 to 80 degrees for daytime highs. But we start that warming process once again. And don't forget what's coming up here at the end of the week. It's the Western Idaho Fair on Friday, for example. Just to give you an example of what happens with the temperature readings. On Friday, we hit 90 degrees. It's going to be hot and it's going to be sunny just in time as the fair opens its doors on Friday at lunchtime. So there goes our cold front. It's still generating a little band of shower activity stretching down to Interstate 80 and just now approaching northern Utah, still hanging up around the southeastern part of the state. Here in the Treasure Valley, dry conditions, a couple of isolated thunderstorms lagging behind over the Owyhee Mountains. But the temperature trends are looking like this. Again, the average 91 degrees. So today was about 12, 13 degrees cooler than normal. Tomorrow we hit 86. On Wednesday, we go up to 89. On Thursday, we go up to 90 degrees. Then Friday, 92. Saturday, we go back up above the average of 93 degrees. So summer-like conditions are in the forecast by the end of the week and possibly all the way through the weekend. So here goes the cold front. There you can see the cooler air behind. The nice northwesterly push of air is what's calling, causing the cooler conditions behind this front, but it's going to be very short-lived. It rapidly starts moving off to the east as it fades away, and warmer conditions are waiting to come in. Once this front moves out of the area tomorrow, we'll start seeing those temperatures rebounding, especially by the middle part of the week. And then, as I mentioned before, towards the end of the week and going into the weekend, we will see plenty of sunshine with toasty conditions returning with highs this weekend. It's going to feel like summer once again. But, you know, it's kind of a reminder what can happen this time of the year. So here's the forecast region by region. As we look at the numbers, we'll say mostly sunny skies throughout the Magic Valley into the south central part of the state. Plenty of sunshine up in the mountains, especially in Long Valley. We'll say sunny to partly cloudy skies there with high temperatures. Mid to upper 70s for daytime highs tomorrow. Lows tonight dropping down into the 40s. That's perfect camping weather, isn't it? And then Payette will see a temperature reading of 88 degrees. Weezer at 87. Mostly sunny skies. Now we may see some occasional high thin cirrus clouds kind of cruising by the area tomorrow. But all in all, it's going to be dry. Boise getting up to 86. Idaho City at 83. Mountain Home at 87 degrees. And then here's the seven-day forecast for the valley itself. There's those temperature readings jumping back up to 90 degrees by Thursday, Friday 92, Saturday 93, Sunday 91, and Eclipse Day Monday. Temperatures should be right around 91 degrees. Some of the models are hinting that we may be dealing with a few clouds by the end of the weekend and the first of next week. Will that affect the eclipse? Folks, it's still way too far out. Can't pinpoint anything, but we'll be watching that very carefully. Regardless, even if we do have a few clouds around, we should still be able to see, feel, and understand the significance of the eclipse when it happens on Monday. But again, yeah. right now I'm going to say mostly sunny skies for Eclipse Monday, but we'll be watching carefully. And I do like that Friday, KBOI 2 day at the fair looks really nice. And we're giving away free glasses we for are. the eclipse. I know. Yeah. I bet we go through them pretty fast. So get there between noon and 2 p.m. because it's free admission. Awesome. Yeah. Coming up on